My name is Koto Williams. I work with ActionAid International as the head of women's rights, and I'm based in Nairobi. The impact of the pandemic uh, on our work as feminist women's rights activists um, has definitely been linked to uh, the lack of physical solidarity, um, the lack of opportunities to have face-to-face -face engagement. Um, it has also meant that with the exposure of the different uh, crises that we face, complex crises that we face globally, um, it has become um, more important to think about alternative ways of doing our work. So alternative in terms of the organizing and mobilizing, and also in alternative in terms of recovery. How do we address this? My um, first take on that is that we, we may never go back to the period where you know, we worked um, in offices like we did, you know, because right now almost everyone is working from home. So we may not go back to the time where everyone was working in offices and people were spending, you know, organizations spent a lot of money on rent. Uh, we may definitely have to learn new skills, you know, get new sort of equipment for the kind of work that we do. Um, if you're not going to leave the house, or even if you're going to leave the house, um, you know, if we have a, um, you know, a better situation say, in 2021, there'll still be the gains where we've now recognized that we do not have to invest, you know, a lot of resources in certain logistical products, and we need to spend that more on the issues that affect people, and that, you know, those issues that reinforce uh, poverty for you know, um, millions of people globally. In the past, you could always sit and have a meeting. Now people are doing more blogs, documenting in a way that is going to support the organization, not just our role during the, the COVID, but also how to use strengthen your organization to uh, contribute towards recovery and to do that in a feminist way. It's, it's interesting, and I think my you know, um, sort of position that I'm building so far is that uh, we, we learn to save, you know, we learn to um, sort of promote value for money uh, post-COVID because I think that's something that we struggled to do. So value for money meaning that you don't need 10 persons from an organization to go to a meeting in New York. It's quite expensive. And you are using money that could be, you know, used for something else that could go towards uh, other projects that will affect people who, that will support people who are most affected by poverty. So I am hoping that this is something that donors take into consideration, um, international NGOs, uh, different movements take into consideration that all we have to do our work is right in our hands.